All right, the Reds, thank you very much for tuning in for our post-match reaction show. A Liverpool with the first leg at Anfield in the Carabao Cup. Stalemate, disappointing Liverpool performance. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, Reds. Or if there's any gunners, your performance in terms of defence display. Granit Xhaka, I think the game did very much hinge on that. Um, he got sent off 24 minutes into the game and quite frankly Arsenal very well in terms of the defensive units and um, frustrated Liverpool for large portions of the whole game really but it, it's been a case for the last couple of seasons against a low block side the team that sits behind the ball very much yet again the right was on the wall even before the game kicked off you have to have a look at that midfield Fabinho, Henderson, Milner that's very much not worked this season I don't know what it is when you've not got Naby when you've not got Thiago there's no creativity in terms of how Liverpool's midfield do command a game um, the wide players especially where you're trying to get Trent and Robertson into a game like that you'd think Back to the basics, yes, Liverpool's midfielders help our full-backs play their football, but Trent, yet again, for like the countless, countless week, you might, I don't know, let me know your thoughts, if you went the game or if you, if you watched it at home, yet again, he was tucking in inside, looking for that inside, I don't know, it's, it, it most definitely is a tactical ploy from Jürgen Klopp, or Trent takes it upon himself within a game to come more centrally, but the amount of times that ball did get flashed out wide and you've got Henderson there, it should be Trent. Even if, it, yes, Arsenal have very much packed the whole box and there's no one within that midfield that has got the bollocks really to carry the game, grab the game by the scruff of the neck. I've only shot on target coming like the 91st minute. I think it was from a Curtis Jones shot and Taki Minamino. He had a great opportunity coming the end of the game. But... Yeah, the, the game very much stifled Liverpool's play. I think it would have helped massively if Liverpool were playing against 11 men, but you've got to appreciate what Mikel Arteta has done, done what a lot of coaches will have done and will do, continue to do, not just in the Premier League, but in European competitions as well. If you're a top elite side, you're looking at these recent results of this season when Liverpool very much struggled, like we've seen in recent times, as I said, at the top of the show. What is the answer? Is it in the market? Is it sort of on the training ground? Liverpool very much do need to... Jürgen needs to sort of sort out because we, if we play like that against Brentford or in the coming weeks or even a, an elite level game against the Champions League side, if that was again, like, yes, Bayern Munich, if you play like that against the Real Madrid when they got the likes of Tony Cruz which we already have in recent times when we have played Real Madrid. That was a game where we lacked absolute not enough control in the game. Yes, we had, like, what what's that, 78% possession, but we done absolutely nothing at all with the ball. We were very happy to pass it backwards, sideways, but no one was very clinical in behind the lines. No one was looking to run. Jota, he was in the box. But the amount of times that ball did get flashed across the box, there was no one attacking the far post. And when you've got not got the load, I know everyone likes to joke about Divock Origi, but Divock Origi, him and Mohamed Salah, we, when those two play or those two aren't in the box, who's going to score your goals? Um and this will be the case for Brentford and for the second leg as well. Um, but as we go throughout this season, the Liverpool don't delve into the transfer market or whatever the plan is for next season. I'm not saying go out mad, but if Jürgen Klopp watched that tonight and we all watched that and there was nothing to come off the bench and obviously Arsenal were very heavily depleted as well. Um, obviously with the, with the injuries and obviously AFCON, they've got quite a lot of their main midfielders at, in, in the AFCON at the minute. Thomas Partey's not there. But huge credit goes to Arsenal. Obviously frustrated Liverpool, as I already said. But disappointing from Liverpool in terms of our creative midfield presence. No one breaking the line. Fullbacks are an absolute disgrace. Um, Alisson, he only had one shot. One shot to save from from, Martin, from Martinelli or Saka. Um, unlucky Arsenal. I think if great great save by Allison. Um, but what is the million dollar question, Reds? That I pose you. Let me know in the comment section below because I wish I knew. I think all of us were sat there scratching our head, going, 
what are we doing? It was the it was almost like the the, the technical staff were very happy to sit through ninety minutes. I know we can talk about it only being only being the Carabola Cup, but this has happened in the league. This will happen in Europe if we play like that um, against a side that say the side does get a obviously away goals is a massive incentive now that it's not in the Champions League for teams so even if a team does get a one goal or two goals away from home in a Champions League tight they're very much happy to sit compact two banks of four or even two banks of one bank of four and then five and then one up front so what is the question Reds opposed that to you million dollar question Liverpool were absolutely shocking and we were disgraced tonight frankly um the crowds, they tried the best, absolute legends, every single one years that went to ground tonight, and, and all the Reds around the state, around the world, really, um, but Jürgen Klopp has to do something, so if, what what is the answer, I'm not going to say go out and buy someone, but come on, you looked at that team, I know they, they did have COVID, a couple of them, or it, lack of intensity is it down to, lack of match sharpness, uh, whatever you, whatever excuses you want to pull out the hat, it was quite frankly not good enough. Final third, but it's not the first case. This has happened tonight. Reds, I was very, I'm, I'm absolutely human. I, I don't want to say, I, <laughs> I don't want to go any longer. But Reds, let me know your thoughts on that game. Quite frankly, a disgrace of a performance. Yes, you can praise Arsenal as much as you can, but it's quite easy to sit behind the ball, which was their game plan as soon as they went down to 10 men. Arteta set his team out very well to, to be compact in, and it was up to Liverpool to to reply in the way that we wanted to cut open this Arsenal side. We're very much very too far too passive, as I've said, in midfield. The defence says a lot when Joel Matip is your most attacking threat at breaking this Arsenal back line but yeah we took him off anyway obviously John Matt if it wasn't for him tonight I think Arsenal would have very much been in behind this Liverpool side so many times even Virgil van Dijk as well a couple of hiccups as well that defence yet again but we go again second leg is in a couple, couple, couple of days anyway um, obviously we've got to focus on the Brentford game now react in the right positive manner in which this Liverpool side will but Brentford will be licking the lips to the, uh, tonight they do exactly what <laughs> exactly what Arsenal doing and a lot of sides will use that performance I know it's when you're down to 10 men you've got to sit behind the ball but West Brom done it so many teams have done it last season frustrated has come to Anfield Burnley but it's tactics in football and it's down to Jürgen Klopp and the technical staff and the players on the pitch to very much open up and make more runs, give and goes. The, the, the spaces down the channels as well, just a final one, Reds as well. The spaces, when you are playing in the midfield as well, you're looking for your Milners or your Hendersons or Fabinho's to very much get the ball when the attackers have and, and, and make those dart and runs. Try and drag the Arsenal back five, back six out of place. None of them could be asked at all to to run into the pockets of space, try and drag some players out. Um, but quite frankly, it was a joke. But Reds, thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below as well. I, I, I tried to be as positive as possibly can, Reds, but quite frankly, when you sit through at, what, 95 minutes of that, carnage. It was, it was a win, lose, or draw. We've got to support whatever team you do support. We love Liverpool, but come on, the Egan, Come on, lads. We need a better performance to see us progress to the final in the second leg. Confident we can do that, but I tell you what, it would have helped if we could have got one, just one goal, but Liverpool couldn't have banned our machine gun all night. But Reds, have a lovely rest of your evening. Enjoy it. And obviously we look forward to the, the, the Brentford game now. So fingers crossed we can... We do have our shooting boots on, but Reds, keep safe, keep well, and you'll never walk alone. Cheers.